Hi, my name is Randall Loy. Thanks for joining me today on the Infertility Channel. And I'm here in my office, and I wanted to read a question that I got from Megan from Atlanta, Georgia. Dear Dr. Loy, could you please help me find some websites with reliable information about IVF? It's a great question. Well, Megan, there, there is a wonderful site, in fact, a number of, of wonderful sites in this regard, and I think you need to, first off, probably avoid the .com websites and go with the .org and the .edu and the .gov websites. Now, one especially that I'd like to bring to your attention is the cdc.gov forward slash art, A-R-T, that stands for the Assisted Reproductive Technologies. Uh, when you go on that site, you're gonna see the 1992 Fertility Clinic Success Rate and Certification Act. This was a bill that was sponsored to make sure the clinics were reporting their data accurately. There had to be truth in advertising. Now, it is interesting to me that we are the only subspecialty in all of medicine that has to prospectively send our data to the government. Wouldn't you love to know how many lives your cardiovascular surgeon has saved? Or how about your neurosurgeon? What about your pediatrician? How good is he or she? I find that interesting. We're the only subspecialty. I'm not bitter, just, just saying it. Now, I have patients who come in all the time and they say, I've done my internet research. I had a patient a few weeks ago, true story. She said, I did some internet research. It shows that I'll ovulate better if I'm naked in the corner standing on my head. And I asked her, I said, well, you know, where was that research from? Could you give me the journal article? And she says, no, no, I read it on the internet. It was, uh, it was I don't know, somewhere. Well, that's probably not reliable research. Uh, you can ovulate with your clothes on. You can ovulate standing on your feet just as well as you can your head. In fact, probably if you ovulate standing on your head, the egg's gonna go up by your diaphragm instead of by the fallopian tubes. Anyway, a little bit more about the cdc.gov site. If you go to this page, now you're gonna see a number of interesting things. You're gonna have various patient resources. That's gonna be on the top left. If you click on that, you're gonna see preparing for the assisted reproductive technologies. Using the ART report tells you how to go about using the rest of the site. Selecting a provider, in other words, finding a board certified reproductive medicine specialist and a little bit about single embryo transfer, which we covered just a couple episodes ago. The next major bullet point is the ART success rate, and then the specific reports. You're gonna find out IVF success rates across all of the clinics in the country, uh, about 450, 460 clinics. Now on the cdc.gov website, you're going to find some other links, very important links that are educational. So if you know these links, you probably have done your research. One of these, we've talked about the Society for Assisted Reproductive Technologies, SART.org. The American Society for Reproductive Medicine, ASRM.org. The American Fertility Association, Resolve, the National Infertility Association, Fertile Hope, and Urology Care Foundation. Finally, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, National Library of Medicine. Those are all great sites for you to look at. Well, some weeks ago, I had a couple who came in and they'd been researching on the internet and I took them through in vitro fertilization, all the steps, and they said, well, when is the written test? And I thought they were joking. I said, ha ha, that's cute. And they said, no, we're serious. Shouldn't you have to have a written test to become a parent? Well, probably you should, but there is no such test. A lot of this stuff is just trial and error. So it's up to you to do your research on the cdc.gov website and some of these other very good websites. Do your research and you will be a better IVF patient and you'll be a better parent. Thanks so much. We'll see you back here next week on the Infertility Channel. Be sure to share this video with your friends and subscribe to catch all new episodes each week here on the Infertility Channel. Plus, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. I love hearing from you. Comment below or tell me what you want to see on future episodes by sending me an email to comments at infertilitychannel.org. Until next week.